In this video, I just wanted to do a brief review of how to access Boolean logic on the graphing calculator. So to start, I just want to say that the graphing calculator treats a zero value as a false value and a non-zero value, like a 1 or a 2 or a 3 and so forth, as true. So I'm going to use 1s here for true and 0 for false, but any non-zero value should give you a true result. So we can access the Boolean commands by hitting second and test. That's for me right above the math button. I scroll to the right for logic, and here are the four options. Now what I like about the graphing calculator is you can actually use this process to remind yourself of the basic rules of Boolean logic, especially if you are forgetting them. Uh, but let's just go over them real quick. The first rule for end, you have a true statement if both, both objects are true, and only if both are true. The or statement, is true when one or the other or both are true. The exclusive or is only true if exactly one of your elements are true. So if you have two elements, it's one or the other, but not both. And last, our not statement will return the opposite truth value of whatever you put into the calculator. So if you input a false, you'll get a true. And if you put a true in, you get a false. And just to show you how this might work, um, let's choose an or statement. So if you just select the OR statement, it'll take your previous value that you had inputted and place it before the OR statement. But that might not be what we want here because, well, I might not even know what I had there previous. I could always recall it though. I'm hitting second, answer. So my previous result was a zero. So, okay, if I go back to my commands, let me just redo it. If I hit a one and then I test, so it's a true, and I want to test it with the OR statement with another false. What happens? I get a 1. So this is basically how it works, right? It tells you this is true. With an OR statement, if one or the other are true, overall you have a true value. So this is just, just you know, a basic introduction. You can do this with expressions, um, and there's a lot more to it, but this is just a good start. Thanks.